freaking morning. It's gonna be night already. Literally gonna be six right now. Welcome to the annual video. Whatever you want to call it. A traditional every year birthday transformation. It's like the third time that I do one. This is like the second for real for real one. But it's gonna be on a budget because I currently do not. I'm not employed. Budget aside, girlies need to save some money. I just don't trust a lot of like when I go and get these processes done. I go in with a vision, then another person has a different vision and it's not my vision. So I don't like taking that risk every single time that I go. Girl, honestly, I've been needing a birthday glow up for a minute. I've been waiting to cut my hair since like January, February for this video. So it's that deep. In this video, we're gonna dye my hair, cut my hair, dye my eyebrows, do my nails. I have them done, but this is like the first set that I've done. Trial, trial nails. And I have my little set, as you guys know, to do my nails at home. I'll be trying to do the butterfly cut. If you don't know what the butterfly cut, this is what it is. I have my hair dye from before. I bought it last year when I bought my other hair dye because I didn't want to go back to the store and buy another box of hair dye if I wanted to do it again just because I'm lazy like that. The one that I'm going to use today is the Frosting Glow by Revlon. This is, this is what my hair color is currently. As you can see, it's a little bit, a little bit outgrown. I need to change my shirt, obviously, because I don't want to get dye on this one. But I have my whole set up here. I have my computer over here. I have been recently getting into it. Oh my God. I don't know why my skin is deciding to like just like I don't know. I've been needing this glow up, bro, because as you can see, I clearly need it. Actually, I'm very good. It's better, so then I have a better transformation. It's more like obvious. You're like, oh yeah, you really did something. So this thing comes with conditioner, purple shampoo, but I have a little bit left over from when I dyed my hair before. Highlighting powder, color developer. The thing that helps me have it so balayage or like highlighty effect is the cap. The cap is like the holy grail, but it also is so difficult to use. And then we got our little needle thing. Hopefully it doesn't break because last year it broke and I don't have another one. I got it in the color honey. This is a long process and I'm honestly not looking forward to it right now because if I'm being honest with you, last year I was super excited to get this whole transition going and stuff like that. And I mean, I am still just like not as much. Oh, hold on, let me change my shirt. Now we're back. But I feel like every year I'm starting to get less and less excited. I don't know why, but right now I'm like super not inspired for what like I want my transition. My transformation glow, bibbidi bobby boo. I should probably do like one of those things that a very good like transition of being like I don't even have an idea of what I want my hair to look like I feel like I'm trying to get very 2000s 90s hair and I just want more volume in my hair because I feel like she's kind of very not it I don't really remember what I was saying but it is the first of the month wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's, it's the first, first of the month so my birthday's in like five days. The age that I'm turning is just not it. My birthday's in five days, but I also start my new job in four. So I actually have to be like transformed, have this whole transformation and stuff done by then. Because if not, then I'm just not going to get it done, you know? Let me fast forward this to the next step. This is kind of like a tutorial on how you guys can do your own like transformations or like dye your own hair at home. So we're not gatekeeping. We're getting out the tips. We're helping out the girls. So. My hair is third day hair. Ooh. It's PSA. I you know what I'm working with. I heard like the dirtier your hair is the more it's gonna stick to it or whatever so she's i really love her to be oiled up you need to like comb your hair literally i don't care comb your hair before you do this because if you don't comb your hair when you take out the cap you're literally gonna pull everything and it's just gonna be that much harder last year i was able to take it out like no problem because i think i was so paranoid that i was gonna pull my hair out again i part my hair in the middle now you're gonna put your head cap whatever on your helmet you're gonna look so funny for like the rest of the time that you have it on also so just like take off anything that you have underneath because it will probably get bleached or stained. Yeah, so yeah, mm -hmm, okay. Now I can't really hear myself. I usually keep the front piece of my hair outside, but I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go and see what happens this time. Slay. I, now I literally can't hear. Like I'm just hearing myself. Now you're just gonna want to start pulling your hair through the cap. I'm gonna align the inserts start to like your lineup lineup of your hair. I'm not really trying to do a lot this time because I feel like last year it was cute. It was a moment. I just want to have more highlighty brown tones in. I still want my like natural hair color to show. So I'm not really trying to get that much hair dyed. You can see the circles and then there's also other like holes to pull it through that are not circled. I think I'm just going to pull it through the circled ones. I don't really want to like I want to dye my hair but I don't really want to dye it. Like I just want to have like the most minimalistic like baby highlights you know. So I'm going to watch my show. 
cold while I do this. I'm also dyeing my hair before I cut it because I'd rather fry my hair and then cut off the ends. That's my logic. I don't know, I'm not a hairstylist. I'm really not a hairstylist, so do not come for me. Brad Mondo shaking in his boots. Sorry, bestie, but I think I got this in the bag. I feel like I can do this. We're back and better. Basically, I just left the rest of my hair just like underneath my cap so that I can highlight it myself. I think the cap is mainly for like the top of your head. I used to have a brush, but I don't anymore. So I just use my fingers and what I need to do, start from the bottom and round the bottom with the hair dye. And then like the remains of the paint, you just put it up. Vaguely smear the top of your like root so that they're not fully blonde. You know? Oh, this is not giving. Pain. Pain. <laughs> Now, I don't know how I'm gonna do the bottom. I'm just gonna pin this. I don't really have a method. We're just going with it. So, you are me. I don't know how she's looking. But I didn't really get my roots. If you can see, I try to keep that like minimal. See how it's kind of like balayaging? She's balayaging. I don't know. I feel like it's all gonna look the same. I'm gonna take a shower and then I'll pick it up probably tomorrow because I don't think I'm gonna dye my hair tonight. I'm not gonna really give a tutorial on how to do it because I don't know how to do it yet. This is how my hair looks like. It doesn't really look like I dyed it though. It's kind of a letdown. Basically, I didn't even like touch the top, like the bottom. A lot more light brown. But basically, I'm gonna cut it all off right now. I wanted to get another dye so I can re-dye my hair even though I dyed it yesterday. Uh, I was too lazy to go to Target. One day when I'm already out and about, I'm gonna like just go to Target and get box dye. But right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my hair. I've only seen like videos on it. It's the butterfly cut. Brad Mondo did a video, a uh, like tutorial on like how to do it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I feel like that's gonna be like the biggest change and honestly I have been waiting for this for at least like four months Literally, I'm gonna look so- I look so gross. I feel like my hair looks like borderline deep fried <laughs> Freezing my hair is that's embarrassing. I cut my hair already, dyed it or whatever. I'm still trying to fix it though because I feel like the layers didn't come out perfect. I just cut it with the method, and then you're supposed to go in kind of like manually cut the layers, like fix them so you can blend them better. But I didn't blend them because I was too lazy, so now I'm trying to blend them. But you know, definitely have layers. But I still very much have length, my regular schmegular length of before I cut it. I'm gonna straighten my hair and then I'm gonna cut it, see what the differences i'm also gonna do a hair mask to see if my hair looks any different right now she looks all big bad and poofy i don't know if you can see but literally it's just big bad and poofy i'm gonna do a hair mask so hopefully it looks less like dry and brittle i don't even know if that's the word to describe it i'm hopefully gonna be doing my nails today too because i took them all off i don't know how good of an idea that is because i barely did them like a week or two ago literally a week barely and now i'm gonna do them again my nails are definitely gonna go through it i was thinking of dyeing my eyebrows today too i might do that while i have my hair mask in because the hair mask takes like 40 minutes to like keep in fatty on a budget does not mean easier okay she's a struggle you gotta thug it out for the most part in order to get the look that you want so I started doing my nails. Finally decided that this is what I'm gonna do. Not the music in the back. I know, right? I don't know. It was like some meditation we gonna turn to like something else. Hopefully I can make them look like this. Even though it's gonna be really hard to get the shape design on my left right hand. I didn't record the process of me doing this because I already recorded it doing it once. So if you want to see more in-depth of me doing this, you can check that video. I found this hair mask, mask, whatever, on the interweb. The original recipe is that it needs an egg yolk, coconut oil, honey, mayo. And I was just not about to do the egg. I didn't want to do the mayo either. And I was just going to do honey, coconut oil, and olive oil. And then I realized that that's too much oil right there. So I put in some mayo. And we're going to just see how and what this does. I don't think it can leave it any worse than my hair already is. Like, my hair is very puffy. Right now, she's kind of tame. Let me comb her out. See, it just kind of looks like dry in a way. And I just want it so that like when I leave my hair down, it's not like a whole thing. I made this little, you can't even see it. This little like contraption mixture. I'm gonna put this on. I don't think I'm gonna put it on my scalp that much. Okay. It doesn't smell that bad. It's just I'm being dramatic. Focus it on my ends. I also am gonna dye my eyebrows while this is like sitting in my hair. Yee. Yee. Done did. I'm kind of scared that it's gonna turn out oily. Now it's time to 
time to dye my eyebrows, which I've been wanting to do so bad lately because I don't know why. One of my friends, like somebody that I relatively know, has to learn how to laminate eyebrows because I need to laminate my eyebrows. They're just suffering right now. I don't know why they just can't stay laid with the gel that I have. Sometimes they can, like usually they can, but I know they're just starting to be difficult. I don't have to dye my eyebrows and I don't have gloves. If I get them on my nails, then it's over. It'd be really tedious right now. Okay, I have time, so I'm gonna take my time today. So I didn't really give like a tutorial on how I dye my eyebrows. I just used this, the Just For Men beard dye. I used it in color dark brown and now she looks a little black right now. Honestly, like the darker for me, the better. The longer I have to avoid re-dyeing my eyebrows again. Since I'm going out like almost every day or I'm gonna be seen five days of the week now, I would like my eyebrows to be slain. I think I'm gonna take off the front part of this one. But for real, it got me so BFFR right now. Somebody that I know has to like do eyebrow laminations and tints. Like please. Sir, please. I swear I'll be your number one customer. You're probably gonna see me too. This is the after of my hair. She's definitely not silky like my expectation was, but she's also not super puffy like before. It feels super soft and smooth. I don't know how I feel about it. I need to start getting ready. It's, I don't know what time it is, but it's almost time for me to go out. And I'm not ready at all because I wanted to like record the get ready with me part. First, I am going to do my hair. If not, all of my makeup is gonna sweat off. I have two outfit choices that I'm like considering. I don't know which one I wanna get yet. One is like a super vintage S type B, and the other one's from Hollister. I put pimple cream on for I continue so that they can flatten out a little bit and dry up by the time I put my makeup on. I feel like this is the most unbirthday s mid transformation moment. These are also my eyebrows. This eyebrow came out really weird, and this one came out pretty good. I haven't finished doing them. Like they're dyed like this, but I need to put makeup on to fix like the sparse areas and all that stuff. But let me show you the outfit options that I have. Basically, these are the options. This first one is like this little like mock corset top from Hollister. She's pink and she has flowers on it. And then the other one is this guest top. She has like a bunch of like detail. She's like actually super duper like vintage -y moment. I haven't worn it at all. So I really want to like pair it. I just don't like that it's blue and dark. I'm in between both of those. But I really like that this is really 2000s, really like 90s type vibe. The whole corset like Lucier type thing. And then for pants, I'm going to wear either options with these pants. I just have slits of the knees on them. And then for my shoes, maybe my Converse. Now I'm I'm gonna do my hair super duper quick. This is gonna show me if I got the layers that I wanted or not. Cause like I'm finally gonna curl it. So let's hope. Finally getting ready. I didn't record everything because I need to hurry up because they are already going to be heading over here. I don't have that much time. I'm going to come at 4.30 and it is 3.48. So I have like half an hour and I still need to like clean up. My skin is so irritating. Like it's acting up and so I don't have a smooth base. But my eyebrows are slaying. So I'm happy about that. Mm -hmm. 